Welcome to Carlingford, a small rural walled town built by the Normans on the east side of the Cooley Peninsula in North Louth. Carlingford Lock Heritage Trust, whose mission is to protect and promote local heritage, is mounting an exhibition of some 40 photographs of shops and businesses from the past, which will be held here at the Heritage Centre in October. The aim is to tell the story of the role of the shop and local businesses in the life of the small town from the end of the 19th century up to the 1970s, when communities were more isolated and relied on their town traders to provide many needs. It aims to demonstrate to young people how people shopped, worked in the shops and managed their businesses. It will look at the importance of a place like the Town Forge as a meeting place to source information or exchange gossip, as it was heavily used when the horse was the main means of transport, rather like the local garage petrol station may still be today. Photos reveal the dress of the people, the modes of transport, how the buildings looked and the different services which existed. For Heritage Week, we've made a short video to illustrate a snapshot of the exhibition, where we take a glimpse behind the shop front of the popular town grocer publican O'Hare's. In most Irish villages you will find a successful merchant family that grew and changed with the community. In Carlingford, the O'Hares were such a family. Through the generations they were grocers, publicans, sheep dealers, auctioneers and undertakers. And they operated a petrol station and a Jarvie service. The story begins in 1879 when James O'Hare bought the premises at the corner of Tulsell Street. My grandfather Hugh took over when James died in the late 1920s, but it was my grandmother Mary who was the real driving force in the business. She was a meticulous record keeper and very innovative. She put in the terrazzo floor in the bar and opened the petrol pumps outside. Her son PJ took the business into the age of tourism. He had a lot of personality and a talent for storytelling and entertaining people. The story of PJ's pub is part of the Carlingford story that goes back more than a thousand years. It forms part of an exhibition of heritage that will take place in October 2020 in the Heritage Centre, Carlingford. 